He's a star. Hmm? That sounds dangerous. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, so, how was your feeling in you know taking the tour and, and RP and your feedback and uh, what you're saying on, on the facility? Uh, I think it's one of the. I wouldn't have believed if I didn't come here okay. that India's facilities like this, especially for innovation park and office. Uh, very, very impressive. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys can show the rest of the world that uh, this is the place to actually come for innovation. And I think what's very interesting for me was <coughs> the, the difference in understanding what works for India. Uh, is, I think, one of the biggest advantages companies who are trying to come to India uh, can can get a great benefit out of interacting yeah, we, with we, that. We are actually looking uh, at making this place something like the next de destination. Any uh, innovative oriented company would like to come and you know and collaborate with the, with the IIT mm -hmm. because one of the best minds in the country is in IIT. So we will be looking at something like that. And we would look forward for your support, sir, and uh, spread a word because that goes a great mile away. Uh, I'll try my very best. Uh, I've known Ashok. <coughs> uh, I'm, he is a very innovative mind. One of the, well, what, I, you know, <coughs> what I admire about Ashok is uh, he's got this Marwari brain that uh, you look at a technology and immediately uh, find a economic solution to it okay. that uh, uh, that you you fold in what can work for India. Exactly. Uh, so a lot of really big technologies from Tesla to the rest of the world, there are lots of great technologies, but they don't really understand what can work for and for not work country. in India. Uh, I think. Uh, that's my first re interaction with Ashok 10 years ago. Okay. It took me 10 minutes to understand that that's... Uh, if if that I could <laughs> rephrase that, I, I feel that Professor knows the pulse of the country or the nation, you know. Uh, you can have big technologies, but then it has to be affordable to the mainstream public. It has to be accessible to the mainstream pu public. So I feel his entire facility, uh, it resonates that. Uh, yes, and at the same time, I think uh, even for a person like him, it's a big challenge because sometimes I feel India is kind of the land of Jugar. Everybody is extra smart. Everybody okay. wants to come out with solutions. Uh, a lot of them are quick fixes, and sometimes uh, we don't think about standardization, uh, yeah. uh, setting standards. So a lot of great <clears throat> things are happening, but uh, I think India, the next step for us is to see how we can really scale. And to, <clears throat> to scale, we, know we need standards, we need things to work together closely and uh, get better operation, operation outputs out of it, yeah. uh, better yields out of it. Okay. Uh, so I think we keep hearing about India wants to be the manufacturing center for the world. I think for that, uh, we still need a lot of work to be done, uh, especially if we think in terms of scale. So uh, Professor, this is an area where... You'd like to add some, some words to what he had to say? Well, Praveen has been an old friend. He has believed in us and has been trying to champion us. Whatever we do, whether work on solar or electric vehicles. Solar is especially his passion. Yeah, I, I read that about And that. he has really made a huge contributions there. And he has been very, very keen that India not only expands solar, but manufactures solar cells. Yes, he was actually in his conversation with Mr. Raj, he was specifically mentioning that he was looking at uh, getting more solar panels produced in, in the country, if I'm right, sir. Yeah, but solar cannot work by itself. I think the only way solar manufacturing uh,
can be done in India is if we put in a lot of other key things around it, uh, the whole ecosystem, uh, for example, energy storage, which is what uh, Ashok is very closely storage, looking at, yes. grid storage, energy storage, the whole transportation working seamlessly with the grid. Uh, <laughs> that's really the next challenge. So he and I discussed a little bit about it. Okay. And we'll see we'll if see we can we take it, together. we can, uh, we'll see if we can take it to the next level. Man, you'll have to come to the Thank you, thank you. And Prabhjot is the, 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 the quiet person, but she, she is the one who actually make, make things happen. So. Yeah, we all figure that <coughs> too, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you.